Hello guys, shalom, hitrat. Uh, you seeing me, I can't see you. But I just want to clarify a few points about using the filler and making colors. Now, it's too difficult to try and explain it on the phone. So the best way to do it is to actually go and video it. Now, to make a color is very, very simple. We have a color called natural. Natural has got no colorants in it. It's a putty. It's only made of powder. So very, very easy to work with. Because it's got no colorant, we can make any color we like. Now, when I left Israel, you gave me three colorants to use. The colorants you gave me was a color called B, a color called C, and a color called F. What I'm going to show you, and this is the color board that you gave me to be able to come back and make the colors. Now, I just want to show you how easy it is to make colors. Firstly, the tub of putty, if it gets dry, we'll put a few drops of water on it. So don't worry about it if it starts to get dry on a hot day, but it is just very easy, a few drops of water and we stir it in. How, what I actually want to show you is how we're going to make a color. So, I reckon we're going to make that color there, which is your color 485040. Now, in your laboratory, you will have to do a few things, which is really, really simple. But I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make a color. I will take some filler. I'll take quite a bit of it. It's natural. It's got no colorants in it. And now I'm going to make the color. I want to match that color. You will have to make your own formula. You will have to work out how your formula works. Because to make this color putty, this color putty with this, I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Measure out a certain amount that you know how much you're using in case you have to make more. And what I'm going to do is, as I add colorant, so the filler will change color. Now, it doesn't matter. Obviously, by keeping a few um, an eyelid drop or something like that, you'd be able to match your color. Very, very important is that the color you see when it is wet, like this state, this wet state, is the color you'll actually get. So if we're making this color and we want to match that color, we can now see whether that's an exact color match or not. From this over here, if you kept an eye um, or a little droplet to count how much you did, you'd be able to make some more again later if you run out. But to be able to make the color is very, very simple. All I've done is, I've done that. Now, if I need to put a little bit more oxide in or colorant in, I can put another little drop in if I have to. Right? So I'll add another drop in to get the color. How are we going? We're getting a little bit too dark. So if I want to make it a bit lighter, all I will do is add a bit more putty and make it lighter because if I put some putty back in it I'll lighten up the color again. Now remember always match your color when it is wet. There we go, there's your color match. Okay, so I've now matched that color for you. Sorry, just a little bit more. There we go. So I've matched that color for you. So you can get an exact color match. Now don't worry about how it dries. It will dry lighter. But when you put a coating over it, or put a clear seal over it, or something, it will come back to the same color as what you saw. Now just as I've done that on that color, I can go along, and I'll do the same with, let's take this red. This red over here is your F color red, and I reckon that F color red is what I'm going to use for this A510. So once again, I will do the same thing. I will take some putty, and if the putty gets a bit dry, if it gets a bit dry, as you can see it's getting a bit dry, I'll add a few drops of water. All I do, add a few drops of water. And now what I do is stir it into the pot. And I am now going to get the putty to be very much more liquid. Now, as I said a few minutes ago, I'm now going to make you 
this red color putty because you've given me that red color. So I will just change my paper and made it a little bit more pliable. It's nice and soft again. And we'll take out some putty. And once again, I'm now going to make the color. As I said, and remember, we're still using the natural putty, timber mate. Now, I'm going to make you. I'll make that color. That's, that Should looks like a better one. Well, I could make either. I'll make you A507. To make A507, I've taken some of your F colorant. Now, this color is very, very, very strong, as you can see. So, all we will do is mix in the colors. Obviously, it is easier if you keep a record of how much you're using. And what you do is immediately you add the stain, the color changes, the putty changes. So, it doesn't matter what you use, you can change the color. All I have to now do is establish how much I have to put in there to be able to get that same color there. And I don't think I'm too far away. There we go. Have a look at that. It's a perfect match. Now, I've just done that on your color board. Obviously, the colors will be a bit different. But because it is wet, that is how I identify the color. A few moments ago I did this one, it's starting to dry. When it dries, it's going to go almost white. Don't worry about it. Because when you put a coating over it, which means a clear lacquer or something over it, it'll come back to the original color that we had. So, to just to go back to this color here, I made the color and there I go. And I've used natural putty. If I don't like the color, I want to make it darker, I can keep on putting more color into it. So, I'm just going to make a darker color, I'll just add a bit more. Obviously, the more colorant I add, the darker it will go. So I could actually put a little bit less and make that color. So to come up with a lighter color like that, I'd add a bit more putty. Do this. As you can see, just remember just to keep a formula on how many drops you're using, but I don't have to do it. It's not, it's not serious because you can add a bit of natural putty to make it lighter, and put a bit more color in, colorant in to make it darker. And there we go, it's all mixed. And now, as you can see from this, there's two different colors. So when I put a little bit less colorant, I get a lighter color. A bit more colorant, I get a darker color. And in fact, this color is not very, very far away from A510. This color I did over here now is A507. I will go out into the light, I'll show it to you in a lighter way. And as you can see, there's hardly a difference between what you're seeing over there. So that color is a, is a perfect color match. And remember, your customer can add less, add more, put more natural, but always work with a natural color. That is why I only want you to buy natural. Because your stains take the natural perfectly and will give us all those colors. I could even go so far as to make um, any of these other colors if I had a few more of your oxides. But because I only have the three colors, I could only play with the three colors. And that is what we've got over here. So to make your A or this A541, we would use some of your B for black, add a bit of natural to it, and we'd come up with the same color as well. So I hope that explains to you what I'm trying to do and how easy it is to do it. Tomorrow I'm going to send with FedEx a box of natural putty for you to experiment. And if you have any other problems, please contact Colin and Colin will communicate with me or you're welcome to phone me if you like or Skype me and I will go through all these things with you but it's not necessary to buy lots of colors you buy one color and one color does it all. Let's throw it.